Well, good evening, fellow YouTube enthusiasts. It's been yet another beautiful day in the show, and a slightly different video today. So here we have my father's 2019 V-Strom 650. So, unfortunately, I don't mean to start off the video um, under, a, under a bit of a cloud, but uh, unfortunately he passed away two weeks ago. And uh, so this is a little bit of homage to him, but uh, at the same time, um, after much ado, um, this was his bike, and I've decided that I'm going to keep it. Um, bit of a legacy for him. Uh, it was always a bike we we're always going to uh, we're always going to share, but uh, um, unfortunately didn't get to ride it as much as uh, as much as um, we would have liked. But uh, anyway, it's just done. Um, it's just coming up for a thousand miles, so it's basically basically brand new. And as it was his, I can't uh, can't bear to get rid of it. So it's going to be uh, it'll be staying. It'll be staying in the uh, in the gene pool of the uh, in the garage, keeping the 750 nice and com nice company. So, uh, as you can see, he's uh, fitted fitted a good couple of uh, couple of mods to it. Just the uh, the Vario the Vario screen at the top there. So uh, that was just a cheapie off of eBay, but uh, it does the job well. Uh, I'm six foot four, and uh, I find it does a does a good job. Although I think personally, I might uh, I might actually change it for uh, something a bit. Uh, that maybe looks a bit better. Maybe uh, maybe you're just an all-in-one screen. So uh, uh, yeah, well maybe uh, maybe do something with that. Also, as you can see, it's got the uh, uh, the hand guards, um, a must in uh, the winters of Scotland. Uh, also, it has heated grips, uh, are in the Oxfords, uh, which are actually uh, really really good. Um, work really well, and uh, they've got the battery monitor on themselves as well, so that uh, they actually turn themselves off when uh, when you when you stop riding. Um, this this model of bike, uh, the newer one, comes with the uh, comes with the USB socket, um, and uh, also it has these GV GV engine engine bars fitted, uh, which I actually think sets the bike off. To be honest, um, I know you can also get um, a lower belly pan for in here, but I uh, actually quite like the clean look of that, and it also makes it a lot easier to clean when it uh, when it gets covered in mud and crap. So. Uh, and other than that, it doesn't have too much else um, other than the uh, the Jivy uh, the Jivy top box, uh, the rack on the back of the top box, and also the um, also the uh, Jivy tank ring for uh, tank lock. So that's it, and obviously the uh, obligatory Optimate there in the uh, underneath the seat. So it just gets uh, connected on and off. Um, other than that, it's pretty standard. It's pretty standard. So I always said that. Uh, when we were riding the bike to get, we'd be riding the bike together. That uh, we'd do something with it, uh, make it a bit more interesting to ride. Um, it does actually sound not bad, um, standard. I've just uh, taken another video of that, so I'll uh, I'll, I'll try and uh, try and attach that if I can about now. So yeah, so I think I think being the being the SV650 engine, it could just do with a little bit more attitude. Um, but it's a grossly underrated motorcycle. Um, it does scratch really well. Um, certainly around the back rows, it uh, it's quite surprising the performance that it has. Um, just for a 650, it's uh, pretty good for just shy of uh, 80 80 horsepower. It uh, makes you realise that you don't actually need too much power on the road. Um, but it's comfy. Plenty quick enough, sounds good. So, uh, of course, which brings me to the next add-on, which I have just ordered, which is that. So that is a Black Widow, as you can see, three-quarter system, uh, or full system, actually. It's a tri carbon system, so that will be going on, and uh, the video of that will be uh, will be coming up. Um, but, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it can... Uh, Carry on with Dad's legacy and uh, get some miles on this bad boy, and uh, it'll be good to just uh, yeah 
be thinking a bit more time, but uh, be good to get him uh, get some get some more miles on this baby and uh, just uh, take it easy, do a bit of touring. Uh, hopefully, get my son out on the back, who's now he's now twelve, so uh, we'll get the uh, we'll get the top box on the back there, and uh, we'll get him we'll get him togged up. Um, he's got all the gear anyway; he's already got a motorbike, but uh, we'll uh, get him on the back there, and uh, and away we'll go. We'll uh, we'll go away together. See if I can see if I can drag him out with me. So there we go. But uh, just have a little a little walk around. But uh, other than that, she's fairly uh, she's fairly standard. She's fairly standard. But not a bad uh, not a bad piece of kit. So there we go. Anyone that's ridden uh, a V Strom, or maybe you haven't ridden a V Strom, I would uh, highly recommend giving one a go. Um, I think you'd be quite surprised, and for the money. Um, they are an absolute bargain. They're uh, a hell of a lot of bike for the money and uh, very versatile, very versatile. So there we go, nice short video. Um, we'll get the, we'll get the uh, full exhaust system on the next, uh, the next few days and uh, we'll try and do a bit more. Hopefully I might be able to get out, maybe have an essential ride to the shops or something and do a bit of a road test on the, on the exhaust, which it's going to need anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you soon. So uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Uh, keep tuned and uh, we'll catch you soon.